What is happening right now, I strongly believe to be distractions. All is going on right now, starting with Brexit, COVID, Ukraine war, Israel war, and climate change as distractions. Um, something is going on. Um, bigger, much, much bigger than uh, than we think we know, much bigger than uh, we understand, and uh, all of these, I believe, to be destruction to keep the people, the populations, focus on a dot, while. Uh, all around uh, it's been uh, where like where all around things have been changed transformed and uh, not for our benefit life is a mystery <clears throat> that's uh, that's i'm sure that uh, most of us is is agree is agree about it and uh, you can have a religion beliefs, you can believe uh, in uh, whatever you want to believe uh, to give uh, a reason of our existence. Um, but for many, is a mystery. And, you know, as I talked about it in this channel and as I wrote a lot about it in my blog, you know, I do have my beliefs about what life uh, uh, could be. And then so I have a lot of people that, um, because of their stories, you know, I could get some puzzles, some pieces of puzzle together, giving me some answers that obviously connected the two things that happened to me and so on. But, the bigger picture, still a big mystery. Now, I feel that there are people, they call it secret societies, there are a group of people that uh, are uh, playing games with our lives, are playing games with this planet life and uh, all we've been made to believe in the past, all we've been made to believe now is just a, a game, it's just a stage. Um, we don't, we know nothing. We all, we all been taught since we were kids, since we came to this planet. All we've been taught is that we have a name, we have a nationality, we have borders. We are our name, our nationality, and we are where happen to be born within those borders. And uh, you cannot cross the borders if you don't have a piece of paper that we call passport. If you don't have it, you are like a free range animal where you have a massive space to walk around but you can't not across it if you don't have a passport yes things got slightly different eh, with the european union so you can move around a bigger uh, free range space but you still to move around this planet you need the passport that uh, it should be already a sign of lack of freedom freedom that we never had. Now, the concept, the idea of freedom is very wide and very complicated to explain because, well, what, what is freedom? You know, we, we could move around our planet, but unable to leave it. So we still free range animals in just in a huge space 
Now, the fact that you can, you know, you've been told which language to speak, you've been told which name to identify, it should tell you how little freedom we actually have. And you've been told that, well, you were born in Italy, so you are Italian, and that's it. But you, I could have been born in Congo, in Thailand, with much less freedom and much less resources and uh, unable to live. So now you are telling me that if I, I was born in a very poor country and poor, it's not an accident. You must make a place poor. You need to do things that keeps it poor. No one can be poor when you can print money so you can virtually making a poor country rich. So everything is made by design. Who is rich, who is poor, who has more, who has less. So now you are telling me that if I was born, uh, let's make in uh, Nigeria, but well, could have been Philippines, I lived in Thailand, so I could have, you know, I was born in Thailand. Let's make I was born in Thailand. So my family is really poor. So I don't have a food. I cannot have an education or a proper education. So now you are telling me I have a freedom. Which freedom I have? I can't get a proper education because I don't have the money. I cannot leave the country that is maybe under dictatorship because I have a passport. They told me that I belong to that land just because I was born there. So I have no choice and no options to live. So where is the freedom? Where is the choice? Which is Where is the free will? Obviously, it's circumstances. The only difference between uh, me, that I was born in Italy, with a relatively good family, and uh, and the relatively well-off family, it's only circumstances. There is nothing more and nothing less than that. It's only circumstances that made me uh, come across this land. So what, what is the freedom? So they cannot live and uh, they cannot basically become well because if you were born poor in a very poor country, you're really disadvantaged. You really have a little chance to have some wealth. So wh where is the circumstance? Where is the, where is the, where, where is this so-called uh, freedom and democracy that gives those people the, the same opportunity that I have? They can't, they can't. Yeah, maybe one out of one million well, we came out of it and become well. Most of them, they will stay poor. And making kids, they will stay poor. So there is no freedom. Uh, freedom, as we've been taught to be, never existed. Um, we never lived uh, in, uh, in a democracy. We never lived in uh, happy, civilized democratic society we never been we now can see it uh, it's uh, it's basically it's on plain sight you know while in the past you know people like uh, like me that was born in the west and uh, was made to believe to have uh, a good life where was this really really where is where, where it was this good life basically spending most of my time uh, inside uh, a school i able to move and to help and to just help to shut up and listen what i've been told with no opportunity to disagree or uh, a better life was to get into work and spending probably 
45 years of my life waking up at 7 to go to work at 8 finish at 5 coming back at 6 and this is, was the best scenario 5 days a week getting at 65, 66 stop working too, too sick, too tired to enjoy anything and most of the time we're using this money that we paid with the, our hard work and taxes we call pensions we will spend those money in medicine and uh, hospitals so there never been freedom we've been tough to compete we've been tough to, to don't trust each other we've been uh, tough that uh, we can only make a leave we can only make a leave if we listen to the government. We've been told that uh, unless we do what is being told, we could not have a decent life. We have been, uh, everything that could have made us self-sufficient has been taken away from us so that we are now incapable to do anything without few people on top telling us what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And if you disagree, you're out of it. You're out of this society. So we've been told that uh, we had the free speech, but where the free speech was? The free speech was until you didn't reach a critical mass that would be of disrupting would be a problem for those people on top and then they would you they would shut you down they would find you arrest you so that you would not be a problem any longer so the free speech that we've been taught was a calculated free speech because they know that most of us even sharing information manifesting would not be able to reach a um, critical mass to make a difference and when we would they would get rid of us and we can see in the little history that we know because most of it has been uh, hidden and or uh, manipulated like Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Kennedy and uh, Fanon and so on I can say more and more and more has been killed those people that could actually make a big difference and move people opinion have been killed or more recently like with julian assange snowden arrested because they were they were a problem they were actually reaching too many people snowden is now stuck in russia because in the house so-called democracy with the passport, and the so-called freedom with the passport, his American passport is being revoked. So he's now a citizenless. So he's not citizen of anything according to our uh, society rules because he does not have a passport any longer. So he is not any longer a citizen. And you do you call this democracy? I heard recently in UK MPs saying that if a citizen would become a problem, would become a, a you know, basically according to them, would become a, some sort of, a, how can I call it, like they were saying, um, basically something like those people that don't want to um, follow the rules or are you know like they basically they're not what they want to be they have to be taken the passport away we passport so you have no freedom this doesn't exist freedom doesn't exist we never had it we never had it. we lived all alone into an illusion where for a while was convenient to keep us believe to have 
it was convenient to make us believe that we were living in the right part of the world. Now it's no longer convenient. Um, I do strongly believe that internet uh, it's one of the reasons why now these governments and secret governments are decided, they have decided that uh, all of us has to be taken, that their whatever core freedom was, even the little one, away from them. And uh, anyone resisting or not ongoing with what they say, to be taking their passport away, fine, or arrested. Yes, internet basically made it possible to now, for each of us, actually reach a critical mass, because I can share with an information, and someone else can share it to another person, another person can share it to 10, and those 10, to other 10, they become 1,000 very soon, and then maybe one million. So done from each person, a massive amount of information share that can wake up souls, basically. And that's what they don't want. They don't want people to wake up. It's because now with this free, basically, information tools that is the internet is now becoming a huge problem for them. I don't know who they are then. They're not politicians. They're just employees of those people. But they have decided that things cannot be shared freely any longer. And obviously that their employees that we call politicians, prime minister, presidents, are now creating a new laws where few people know it and doesn't even go through the normal uh, government process have been just made without people knowing about it and just made from almost a day to another. Um, like all Europe, UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the so-called online, uh, the online right bills, the online uh, Freedom Bill, or um, the all sorry, the online safety bill, the online safety bill, sold as uh, to protect people online. Basically, allowed now police to go into your uh, data at any time, wherever they want, and check everything you say. And uh, if not what they want, if it's not what the government decided to be acceptable, they can now, if the law becomes, if it becomes a law, because it's now, it's going, uh, kind of like probably revising, you can fine immediately, you can be arrested. Tech company, can now report you whatever you say to the police and you can be fined and or arrested. This is all be done without people, most of us knows about it. I could, you know, I could speak, I spoke with so many people asking me, do you know about the online safety bill? I know nothing about it. And while uh, people don't have even the opportunity to think about it because our daily bombarded by Brexit, then COVID, then Ukraine war, then climate change, and now Israel. Can you say, I, I see it as a destruction. I see it as a way to prevent people from waking up. Obviously, what I think about life is based on my personal spiritual growth and uh, based on what I became. So I can't really say 100% it can be applied to all of us. But I strongly believe that once you start to awaken, that means once you start, once you start to go within and slowly realizing that 
all of this is a mystery and all we've been taught and all the life we had until now wasn't just an illusion, was just fake. All you want is something different. And uh, in my case, I realized that, well, if this is a mystery and if it, all I've been told until now was a just like an acting, was just a stage, was an illusion. It was no real. So all I want is just uh, to be in peace. I just want to live this mystery in peace and serenity. And I want other people to feel the same. All I want is to find a way to help other people. So if all my life was just circumstances, if, uh, if I was born in a land, plenty of food, uh, and uh, with a roof over the head, as I now know it's just circumstances out of my control, then uh, all I want now is to become the right circumstances for other people so they can have uh, a decent life, a decent education. So I strongly believe that once you wake up, or what is we call awakening, so once you start to go within, I feel like that's what most of us want. We, are, we have been taught that the human nature is greedy. The human nature is to want more than others. I don't believe that. We were kids. We were a blank page. And what we became is only what we've been told. We're just repeating a script. Um, I don't believe we are greedy. We've been taught to be greedy. You need to teach a kid to be greedy. Kids are not racist, but if you teach a kid to be racist and if he lives in a racist society, he will become, it will become racist. So a human being is not bad or good. And uh, I strongly believe that probably if not tough anything, you know, if left to just roam widely, they would probably tend to share what they have with others more than keep it for themselves. So, and even if it's not, as we know, if you can, you know, even, even if a human it's naturally greedy. It's naturally um, tends to things for themselves more than not. Even if, as we can see, we've been made to believe that, you know, a land that belongs to everyone is Italy, is my land. If I've been made to believe that, uh, you know, I need a big car, a big house to be successful, I need to become the CEO of a big company to be a successful being, if we be made to believe that and we actually doing that and killing each other, destroying each other, destroying the planet for that, if you can make a, a, a human being believe that, obviously you can make uh, someone, you can make a kid believe that life is about sharing, that life is about uh, helping each other, respecting the environment. You can, so you can, obviously you can. If you can the opposite, you can that as well. So what I think you know, what I think, there is something much, much bigger, much, much bigger. Many of us are starting now to realize that because now they are not hiding it. They are showing globally what really want and what really is going on. So there is something much bigger. And uh, I, again, I strongly believe that if you leave a human being, minding their business, leaving a a uh, stress already stress free lifestyle a human being stands to become tends to find uh, a meaning to life tends to go within tends to tends to become more spiritual so tends to go to the path of awakening and that's what i felt and what i saw before all of this started, at least with Brexit leaving in UK, 
more and more people were talking about a healthier lifestyle. More and more people were telling me to go into yoga. More and more people were telling me about uh, um, spirituality, about wanting to change, about trying to understand life. So more and more people were toward that path. I could see it, I could feel it. And then everything started and now everything stopped because everyone is now just focused on making a living. Oh, another thing, before all of this started, every, like before Brexit, every, like, everyone was starting to talk about wanting to work less, to have less working hours. They wanted you know, to have more free time. You know, even there was like a point where it was, you know, people were talking and media was talking about reducing from 40 hours to 36, 35 all is gone all is gone and all now media talks about all what people talks about it's the war the covid or i can see there is a sort of plan to keep people in fear to lower people energies to keep people worried and focus on the dot that they put in front of you in a daily basis with everything from wars from climate change inflation inflation is bullshit inflation is made by design increases of prices it's made by design increases in bills it's made by design it's all made by design and it's all because we've been tough now to basically you know, without working, what we can do. We don't know how to live uh, on our own. We, are no, we don't know how to be so sufficient because then they didn't teach us that. They didn't teach us that for a reason. So we depend to them. We depend from them. And the moment that you are paid check by check, you just... Uh, barely arrive at the end of the month you don't know anymore what to do you just worry and you work more and you work more and more work more stress more worries more worries and the more you need help uh, from them and that's that's the been the plan all along they don't want again i strongly believe they don't want us to think about a different way to live life We are evolving. You can't stop that. And this is a fact. We are evolving. We are uh, spiritually, we are evolving. And what I really think is that they know. They are trying uh, to slowing it down. It cannot be slowed down. It cannot be stopped. It can only be slowed down.